What up, Tech Easy Gamers? It's your boy, Jermaine with Tech Toys and Gaming. And today I have a nice, awesome treat for all my content creators, potentially gamers, depending on what resolution frame rate you prefer playing at. And for anyone who is doing YouTube videos, which is also content creation, what? And let's not forget our whole work from home culture, work from home family, including myself. And the treat I have for you today is pretty powerful. It is the Tobin One USB-C triple display docking station. Yes, right, you heard me correctly. Triple display as in you will be able to broadcast, send out signal, extend to three monitors. So, wow, that is uh, quite a powerful thing. Kind of resembles a Mac Mini in its appearance, but I don't know if it's actually the size of a Mac Mini, right? We're gonna open this box up right now and take a look at it and see if this is worth your hardcore earned bucks in cash, right? Because to get triple display at 4K, it'll make you pay. And before we get started, I just wanna thank all my subscribers out there, people who I guess basically believed in me and trusted me enough to subscribe to this channel to get a little bit of tech entertainment from me. And for those who are not yet subscribed, but yet are watching this, you may want to consider subscribing, being that you may be here your second or even third time, a hundredth time. What? Now let's stop procrastinating and let's just get into the product. Let's do it. All right, Tech the Gamers, here is the official unboxing of the Tobin One USB-C triple display docking station, right? So we're going to see what comes in box and if you take a quick little snapshot here of the specs, you're going to see that this does quite a few things. Let's go ahead and unbox this and see what comes in the box. Nice little wrapping here for the cover and Thank you, grazie, danke. Look at this. You get free upgrade to 24 month warranty. So be sure to go to this site here to get that nice extended free 24 month warranty just in case you have some hardware defects. Happens with the best of the best of uh, manufacturers and stuff. So um, is my camera flipped? Should I be doing it the other way? Uh, yeah, let's flip my camera. All right, this is a little better for my orientation. So. Uh, let's see what we get here. Introductory little manual thing here and a thank you for purchasing this awesome product. And you get your quick setup guide. So uh, is this one of those super extended guides? Uh, not really, to be honest. It's just this one side here and the other side is blank. All right, so let's pull up the styrofoam right here. Just looking at the product itself, it is not the size of a Mac mini. So if you wanted to put this under your Mac mini, it's probably better if you put it on top. So let's ooh, just putting my hand inside of here. It feels cold already. So let's look at the beauty of this product. I guess gamers, this is looking quite clean and cool. It even has this Apple texture right to so this aluminum finish here. Very cold. My goodness, it's not even that cold down here. Both sides fully flat, fully metal, except for the underside. You get these little four rubber stoppers. This thing has weight on it. It is metal, so be prepared to have a Mac Mini Mini on your desktop. We're gonna get multiple USB ports there, Tech Easy Gamers, all 3.0, five gigabit USB ports. So you get about four of those directly there in your face on the front. And looks like you get yourself a nice little headphone, uh, microphone line in and out there. So you can get your microphone and your zoom calls pop in right through this port. Two SD cards, standard SD, and then you have a micro SD beneath that. I believe they bump up to about uh, roughly 100 megabytes per second, 80 to 100, maybe a little bit more. And for the last port here on the front, that is your USB-C host port, which is what will be connected to whatever device you're trying to use this as a docking station for, most likely just your laptop right there. And you will get pass through power delivery going through this port as well as all of the speeds you get off of any of these usb ports sd card ports and the ports on the back which are display ports so let's look at the back right now you get your gigabit lan for faster network speeds and the port right here looks like that is what will be plugged into your power source which will be powering this device as well as charging your laptop 
And then for all my legacy techies and gamers out there, you have a VGA support. If you have an older laptop, I believe this VGA will do 1080p 60 hertz 60 frames per second so it's not too shabby of a port considering this day and age people are still playing in 1080p at high frame rates you get 60 off of this that's kind of decent then you got yourself two hdmi ports here with hdmi 1 doing 4k 60 and hdmi 2 doing 4k 30 and i believe if you extend it using all three of these monitors you can get probably different resolutions since uh the VGA only supports 1080p 60 FPS. Now a couple of these ports are driver based and I'll show you what that means in a minute. So this is the actual dock about the size of my hand. I can actually grip it with one hand. So let's see what else we get in here. We should have some accessories such as a uh, charging cable in here somewhere, I believe. This looks like we have some cables. So let's see what cables are they offering. So, oh, quite sexy we have two usb-c to usb-c cables here so this would be awesome for the connection to your macbook and then you'll have the other one going back to power so we're gonna see if i'm right or wrong and this probably is in fact your power brick super compact the box is just the right size because i can feel it touching every edge on the outside so let's take a look at how tight they squeezed this in here and yes this is a really heavy thing i'm hanging here onto here uh oh okay you are double wrapped can i just like slide this off yep slide that right off and we have a nice huge power brick here that is portable as well you can kind of just close that off pack it in your bag along with your dock and you're good to go in relation to the dock itself this is the size of it that's the size of the power brick and effectively you would connect that via the usb-c port on the back there and this is the full contents of the box you get your docking station you get your two pretty powerful feeling at least right USB-C to USB-C cables and a brick charger here. All right, and with the full contents laid out and spread out before you, let's go ahead and plug this in and see how it works. So for my demonstration, I will be utilizing the MacBook Pro 14 inch M.1 chip variant. That's right, so we're gonna plug that into this docking station and see what we can do. We wanna see if we can project it to a 4K monitor. We want to see what the USB transfer speeds are. if they get negated from a hard drive. Let's say it's 500 megabytes speeds, right? Transfer rate. And if it degrades any less than that, 400, 300, five, what? If it goes that low, we throw this out the window like a Frisbee. What, who throws Frisbee out the window? Nobody. So right now I have a pretty unique setup here with this docking station. So I have in fact connected it to a 4K screen, which does about 120 Hertz. But of course we're expecting to get about 60 hertz on that screen and i have connected it to my pc as well so i'm effectively using two display ports going out from my macbook pro the second one is going out to a cam link so that way i can actually show it to you guys i go the great lengths to kind of give a fair decent demonstration at least within my capacity so that you get an understanding of the way things work and whether or not this device or any device you see on this channel will work for your purposes right so i'm going to switch and right now we're actually connected to my macbook this is my macbook desktop so as you can see here on my mac i have three screens going the macbook the 4k display and this middle one is my uh cam link 4k so this is how i'm getting the actual screen recording because my mac is pretty far away from me as well as my PC and everything. I'm working with a remote wireless Bluetooth mouse here. So great links just for you. All right, so, um, and I wanna see if it's gonna work for me. So when you plug in the dock, getting right to it, you're gonna see that you get this instant view folder. You wanna open that and you're gonna see several files here. We're gonna go ahead and install instant view for Mac OS. I wanna see if I can get this resolution to look better. Click open system preferences to allow it because you don't have a choice. Otherwise it won't work. Uh, Mac OS instant view. So I have two display drivers here. This is for another dock. We're going to turn that on. Uh, my MacBook is far. Give me a second. 
Uh, all right, I use my fingerprint because my keyboard is not connected. We'll quit and reopen and you will see that it is open up here in your taskbar. So it is now active. Uh, Mac, a new version of Mac OS Instant View is available. Let's install the update. Why not? Because we always want to have the latest and greatest of all time. What? All right, let's install update and relaunch the Instant View app. All right, Tech is the game. So with just a little bit of fiddling, I have got this docker station up and running. And how, in fact, did I do that? So my advice to you is that before you go ahead and install your dock and start connecting your displays to your docking station, you want to install the Instant View app on your Mac, in this instance, or on your Windows laptop, Android device. And you want to do that by going to this Instant View folder you see right here. In the folder, you also have the guide to install the Instant View app and the user manual to let you know how this app will work and how to get it installed and configured. And looking at system settings here, you'll see I have three displays connected. One is the Sony, which is running at 4K 60 right here in your face. We have the Cam Link as well running at 4K 30. And then of course we have our built-in display. On my MacBook, I'm getting close to 4K at 120 ProRes uh, refresh rate. So this is looking kind of sweet to me, Techies and Gamers. I don't know about you. Effectively, I have two extended displays. I can extend it to a third display. Little powerhouse of a device. So Techies and Gamers, so far so good. It is doing exactly what it says it's supposed to do on the manufacturer specs and details. So, so far, so good. This is working quite sweet. Now, snap my fingers because it makes me feel like a boss. What? Now we're gonna test some data transfer speeds. Uh, test the rates using this crucial X6 SSD. Yes, indeed, this boasts about 500 to 800 megabytes transfer rates, read writes, more or less, depending on which ports you connect to. I know connected to my MacBook via this Thunderbolt 4 connection, I'm getting about 800, sometimes more than that, 800, 10, 5, whatever, megabytes per second transfer rates, and about six or 700 to the actual uh, write speed. So it's a pretty, pretty decent drive. You can definitely do editing directly off this drive the way I do on a daily basis to edit videos just like this. So let's go ahead and get this guy connected. For that, I'm gonna use a 3.2 Gen 2 adapter because the docking station does not have a USB-C data port to connect to. You definitely should be getting at least 500 or close to it megabytes with this drive. So let me go connect it right now. For our speed test, we are going to be utilizing the Black Magic speed tester, but let's um, make sure that it's selected here in our settings. Right, let's uh, select target disk drive. We want our crucial, which is this one right here. Click open. Let's go ahead and choose, I guess, three gigs, right? Three gigs should suffice. Here we go. And we're running about 400 or so. Looks like I may cap out about just a little bit above 400. And on the read, we are getting 360. That is actually not shabby at all, my tech and gamers. So we are looking at some pretty decent data speeds and pretty much keeping up with basically what the hard drive can do, not its full potential. The hard drive can go just a bit faster than this. And for our SD card test, we're gonna take this SD card and connect it to the dock directly. And we're gonna see what we get off of this 100 megabytes transfer rates. At least that's what it says on the card. Looks like I maxed out here at about 41 plus on the right and about 80 to 80 something, almost 90 on the read. So not so bad. All right, Tech is Gaming. So what do I think of this device? It passes on the Tech Toys and Gaming Show. This device is actually quite cool. Now, there was really no bugs or errors, I was able to pull up with it once I installed it right. I didn't jump the gun and install the, everything first and then did the drivers late, what? I also do like the fact that it will give you the full power delivery for your MacBook, for your laptop. So you don't really have any worries unless you have a super big 
gaming power hungry machine. As far as portability, I think that something like this is probably going to be used at your desk. You're probably getting it for the connection of the multiple displays it can extend to. So unless you're carrying three additional displays with you with this dock, then uh, yeah, not portable. USB and data transfer rates for the micro SD card as well were pretty decent. Um, no real complaints there. Pretty much every dock that I have tested USB-C or otherwise typically take a little hit, a little degradation, even when it's a 3.1 or 3.2 Gen 1 or Gen 2 USB ports boasting 10 gigabits per second. You'll still find that there are some minor loss in transfer speeds and rates. So, for example, if you have an SSD that is doing a thousand megabytes per second transfer rate on docking stations in general, more or less, I haven't really found one that is doing the exact or better. You typically take a hundred megabytes or so loss in transfer rates, read and write. So it goes both ways. This is an awesome addition to your work from home and your content creation at your workspace. So yeah, I definitely can recommend a device this at this price range at 125 to 150. And if you're interested in getting this device, check out the link below. I left you a soft little, it's not hard, soft little <laughs> coupon code. Courtesy of Tobin One, thank you very much for providing this device for us, for all of us out here to sample and take a look at and help enhance our workflows and creativity in our workspaces, all right? However, if you're interested in getting something a little bit smaller but can do 4K 60 dual screens, that's right, there is a 4K 60 dual screen dongle that I've reviewed recently. You can check the videos out right here. I have kind of a little bit of a list of USB-C hub slash docking stations that I've reviewed for your content creation for your MacBooks. So go ahead and check those out. Let me know what you think and appreciate your time and I'll see you in my next video. Later.